Baryons and ghosts and snakes. What reveals? Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. Generic reptile support, ghost fusion, and Nash support. We got Black Mamba. Yeah, they actually named this Black Mamba. So you can only special summon one card with this first effect of this card's name once per turn. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. If you control a reptile monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Yep. All right, seems good to me. This card is normal as well. Somebody target one monster your opponent controls. Send one reptile monster from your deck to the graveyard, and if you do, change the targeted monster's battle position. This card is absurd for the deck. I really like this card. Then we got Urabonos, the Avatar of Malice. So you can tribute one reptile monster as well some of this card from your hand, so it'll step over something else. All monsters your opponent controls will lose 300 attack and defense. That's interesting. And you can tribute one monster, all face-up monsters. Your opponent currently controls lose attack and defense equal to the tribute of monsters' original attack and defense till the end of this turn. I'm not a super big fan of this, for, but, I mean, it's an ex it, it's a minus one extender, I guess. Next up is Lamia. This is actually named this Lamia. So 1,300, 1,500. So you only first set effect that this card's name once per turn. So if this card is normal or special to summon, you can add any level 8 reptile monster from your deck to your hand. Now, that's an actual searcher for level 8s for reptiles. Okay? If this card becomes banished, you can target one reptile monster you control. It cannot be destroyed by card effects until the end of this next turn. I think that there's something that we could abuse this in. Not sure what, though. And then we got Viper's Grudge. So you can only use the second and third effects of this card's name once per turn. This is a continuous trap card. So non reptile monsters you control cannot attack or activate their effects, which that's a heavy trade off. If a face up reptile monster you control is destroyed by battle card effect and sent to the Guardian Special Summon, a level 4 little reptile monster from the deck. That's a pretty good trade off here, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it, it'll punish your non reptiles, but I think that's fine. If this card in the spell and trap card is destroyed, you return all of your banished reptile monsters to the graveyard. Okay. I don't, I don't have anything else to really say about that. Cards, eh. We got Ghost Lancer and the Underworld Spearman. So it's a level 5 dark zombie monster. So if only your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Oh, they gave zombies a Cyber Dragon. Huh. Can't be destroyed by battle, except with a monster special summon from the extra deck. That's pretty good. If this card attacks, you defense resist a monster and inflict piercing damage to your opponent. Okay. Next up is Hellfire Sleeping Beauty Ghost Sleeper. Aw, oh, it's not actually a... Uh, I'm sad. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Ghost Fusion from your deck to your hand, which will be the new Fusion spell card that you'll see here in a second. During your main phase, except the turn this card is sent to the graveyard, banish this card from your graveyard, discard a card, and target one of your banished level 4 lower or higher zombie monsters, excuse me, and add it to your hand. This has to banish and discard one. I'm not a big fan of that at all. Next up is the Ghost Wyvern. So, if this card is normal or special summon, you can add a Ghost Fusion from your deck to your hand. During the end phase, if this card is banished, you can take one level 2 or lower Zombie Tuner monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it. That's so very interesting for an effect. Ghost Fusion. Fusion summon one Fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters you control as Fusion material. Only Zombie monsters can be used as Fusion material for this following effect. If your life points are lower than your opponent's, you can banish one zombie monster from your hand deck or graveyard as material. I wish that this had sent from the hand, but yeah, imagine if this sent to the graveyard. Numbers avail. So if only your opponent controls the monster, special some from the extra deck, choose four number exceed monsters with different ranks from your extra deck. Add the numbers in their names together and special summon one number exceed monster from your extra deck with a number equal to the result. And you do attach those chosen monsters to it as material, but you cannot special summon monsters while you control it except for number exceed monsters. You just get four materials for free as long as your opponent controls something from the extra deck. That's so very interesting. Then we got Reincarnation of the Seven Embers. So, if your Exceed monster that is a number monster and with a number between 101 and 107 in its name, or has such a monster as Material Battles, during damage calculation, banish in any materials attached to it. Also, during the end phase of the turn, you activate this card. So, watch some one rank three or lower Exceed monster from your extra deck, except a number monster. You're doing book damage to opponent equal to the original attack. Then we got Rebirth of the Seven Emperors. Tribute all Exceed Monsters, and then target one of your banished Exceed Monsters, special summon it, and you can attach number Exceed Monsters with numbers between 101 and 107 in their names that are banished and or in your graveyard 
up to the number of monsters attributed plus one to it as material. During the end phase of the turn, you activate this effect. Each player takes 300 damage for each card in their hand. So weird, but I see that they, they really love doing this. Xyz Bento. This is actually a Bento box, by the way. If a monster monster your opponent controls is destroyed by battle and sends the graveyard target one exceed monster to attach one monster in your opponent's graveyard to his material. You can banish this card from the graveyard target one monster, special summon from the extra deck. It changes battle position. Not a super big fan of this, but overall, this ghost fusion is pretty interesting. It's, I think it's more interesting the fact that we don't actually get like a specific monster interaction for this. It's just this. So guys, what do you think about the new cards? Please leave a comment down below. Too much interesting. Smash the little crap with that subscribe. And see you guys on this more awesome content. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on the day. Peace out, guys. Have a good one. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.